So Romy is, as a maker, she uses her body as a canvas, so mm. everything she finds can become something beautiful. This is recycled bags, mm. knitted. So we're making a vest for her out of this material. This is a pair of jeans that were cut and sewn to paper bag, upside down, belted. So that becomes an actual dress. It's almost like, like, like a yoga mat or something. It is made from yoga mat, yeah. <laughs> this is repurposed, thank you Halloween, candy wrappers. And that is newspaper. You could do your the crossword puzzle on your chest. Or Sudoku. This piece actually made of old ART posters. At this point, what we're doing really is just a paper mock-up. Take the design to the first step of making it three-dimensional. There's the snake fruit dress. Part of the theme of the show is that this freaking girl, Rami, is a brilliant artist, but only with free stuff, not with new stuff. I had a girl that was looking for free stuff on Craigslist. Then when we exhausted our free Craigslist stuff, we started going to Goodwill and thrift stores and trying to find used stuff. In the squat, in Rami's uh, freaking squat, we're gonna see the colored side of it. These art sculptures made from all of the scarves that we got. Regan furniture made out of repurposed road signs. We went dumpster diving to their sign dumpster. These uh, would be the legs. Then the costume shop is making, we're calling them trash and dresses. Just now Jeffrey came, went down and he found the striped webbing. We have big rolls and he just went and rifled down in my, in my fabric area and said, can I use that? And I'm like, sure. The Barbies are from Trojan Barbie. We don't know where we're gonna use them yet, but there's plenty of Barbies. And the Barbies that we bought, they were they were used when we bought them for Toys and Barbies. Fortunately, we're part of a Harvard. They have a very, very comprehensive recycling program, so we take full advantage of that. There's a lot of textural decor that's going to go onto the walls as set dressing, and a lot of that came from the Harvard recycling people. These all came from Western Mass. They make the bottles for like Coca-Cola and whatnot, and these are all the extras. They had slight defects because they run tens and tens and tens of thousands of these things. We went out there, I believe, three times. The props department had to go out there a couple times in the truck and fill the van. There's a small hardware store just down the street and they sell a lot of lawnmowers and snowblowers and whatnot and I think all of that equipment comes on pallets and they had a, a few sitting out front so I, I asked one of my guys to go over there and ask and they said, guess what, we've got a whole semi-trailer full of pallets and you're welcome to them. So we filled our, we have a 14 foot stake bed, we filled it twice. So they, they gave us I think close to about 150 pallets. The dumpsters were basically donated to us. We put different casters on them. Um, we've grinded all the sharp spots and what have you to try to make it a little safer for the actors. These are reinforced with steel. But I mean, these are authentic. I mean, you can see where the racks chew in this one. That's the real thing right That's there. That's awesome. The stage left wall is this wall. And then there's this transition as the boxes take over and get more and more jumbled. So the grocery stores tend to get a lot of their produce delivered one or two days a week. They'll unload all of their produce and then they usually have box crushers and whatnot and then they take the boxes to recycling. So what we've done is we've taken them before the crushing and when we're done with them of course they'll eventually make their way back into the recycling stream. I wanted the set to be a sculptural creation of the waste of, that they can find in Cambridge. and. I kind of said to them, tell me what you find in the garbage here. And they were like, great, but what does the set look like? And I was like, I'll tell you when you tell me what you find in the garbage. The fact that the emphasis on this show has been on all of the recycling and all of where our materials come from and what happens to them thereafter, that awareness, I think, has been helpful. I think it's been enlightening for other members of the company. And it's shed some light for me on just how important it is what it is that we're doing. I have a much more heightened awareness about all of that and how my impact and footprint on every show, how we're using our resources, where we're getting our resources, what, whether we're adding to the waste stream. I mean, these things, um, I, don't, I don't think I've ever considered them quite like I have in the show. And it'll certainly, it'll stick with me.